to all the hard-working women and everyday super moms, we got a little something for you. It's Eva's Corner on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. All right, y'all, it's about that time for Eva's Corner. Eva, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to Eva's Corner, bringing you everything womanhood, motherhood, and the juicy stuff in between. My question today is, what does your Christmas budget look like this year? I want to talk about it because this year has looked different for so many people. And one thing that has affected everyone is our economy. Our pockets have been hit hard. If it's not a pay cut, it might have been a furlough or a layoff. Times have been hard this year. And so making basic payments that have never really been difficult have become a burden. So now with the holidays here and Christmas practically around the corner, a lot of parents are feeling, you know, a lot of pressure about how do they get their kids the gifts for Christmas that they really want, knowing that their money doesn't look like it always looks. As a mom of three, I can tell you it is going to be okay. Now, this year might not be about gifts. It might be about the family. Now, I know we say it every single year. It's not about gifts. It's not about gifts. And then what do you do? You go out and buy every single gift you can find. Mm. I think this is the year, Rick, that we truly, truly get back to family. I think March started it with us learning to love those under our roof a little bit more, getting a little bit tighter. But with the Christmas approaching, I think it really, really highlights what's important right now. A lot of our kids have more than what they need, but then there are people that don't have. So I did a little research, I borrowed Special K's team, and did a little research to find out what can we do and buy this Christmas that won't break the bank. So for those that money is super, super tight and can't buy anything, then I saw some people are learning how to make candy on YouTube. Super duper easy, but they're super cute. And you can gift that. You can make baked goods. Um, do you guys remember back in the day when we used to pop popcorn and then thread it and put it on that little string? Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes. <laughs> Old school things. It, it gives the family something to do from the youngest person in the family to the oldest person in the family. And then if you do have a little bit of money, not a whole lot, but just a little bit to spare, Amazon has an amazing guide for your specific budget. So they start with gifts under $10 mm. from puzzles to mini pinball games to paint sets because I had to look. I'm like, what can you buy for under $10 that uh, you your kids do, don't like? Uh, y'all better do like my grandma used to do, give you that paper she bag she with that apple and that orange and that big ass <laughs> peppermint stick and the pecans and brazel nuts and, and that Christmas candy and, and wrap it up. Boy, you thought you had something back then. Exactly. <laughs> so they're gifts for literally under $10, Rick. But if you have a little bit more money, they have a budget for people under 20 under 30 and under 50. So do not allow yourself to get overwhelmed this Christmas season. You cannot help what you cannot help, but you can relish in the love of those that are around you. Yeah. We have each other this year. We have our health. And if that's all you got, baby, you got more than a lot. Absolutely. So let's sit there, not worry about this money, and we're going to be okay. Christmas don't have to have a lot of presents. As long as we are together, we are in the proper Christmas spirit. Yeah. That's what I got for you today. To find me, you can look at me on all my social medias at Eva Marcel on Instagram and Twitter. And that concludes Eva's Corner. You can give, give me a gift card to give me a lap dance at Coco's. <laughs> hey, nine. <laughs> Before the top of the alley. Boy, y'all know about that, about that five, uh, five dollar lap dance back in the day at Coco. <laughs> you leave the Rolex and go to Coco and get them cheap lap dance. Hey, get the Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> five dollars. Yeah, they, they were five. Ask Marvin Dixon. Say, hey, man, we're going to go to Coco and get them, get us a lap, them lap dance. Five dollars, boy. Five dollars. Boy, you ain't, you ain't had no. <laughs> you hung out with Marvin Dixon. More Ricky Spider, more the show.